Mark from Truth Seeker, and uh, today's going to be no different. I'm going to show you anomalies, what you think of them, what you think you see, what I see, what you see, what your friend may see. Doesn't matter. We all we can all have an opinion. I'm just trying to show you guys what I think I see. What that means is you got to go download the picture yourself and take a look at it and say, hey, you know what, maybe this guy's right. It, it may not be what I'm describing to you exactly, but you have to ask the question, is what he's showing me unusual? There's supposed to be nobody that's ever stepped foot on Mars, as far as we're told. Okay, so then you have to ask yourself this question. If nobody's ever ever been on Mars, how could some of these strange things be made? They may not be what I'm describing them as 100%, but you have to ask yourself if they're strange. And here is one of them. We're going to come up. I see this as some type of stick with... It's got almost like a question mark on the end. Let me see how close I can get. That's too close. Uh, we have to stay right about here. There's another stick coming up, and you can see a rope coming across. Now, there is a slight shadow. I could see it on my monitor. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but I could see a slight shadow back here being cast. That's just what I see. Um, comes down. It looks like there's some type of base down here. If there's wood, rock, I, I can't, I just can't be 100%. But what I can be 100% on is that there is some type of cordage coming across here. You can see how it's tied. Then, on the other side of it, you can see there's a branch coming up with a Y. It's very faint. It's right here. You see the Y in it? For whatever reason, maybe there was another branch laid across here. Uh, who knows? But the one on this side here looks like it comes up, and it almost looks like there's a question mark curly on the top of it. The cordage comes over. You can see the one in the back. It's got a little Y in the branch. Maybe it was coming across. Maybe there was another one here. Then you got this strange thing back here. That's got a total, totally carved out. That uh, looks like a weird, half of it looks buried. Look at this, there's another rock with like a square cut out on it. Very strange area. Then you come next to it. To me, this looks to be like some type of statue. Uh, you can see here comes, it looks like an arm coming out of it. Just my thought, and it looks like it's holding something. I'll see how close I can get in for you guys. That's going to be probably about it for today. That's about as far, that's about as close as I'm going to be able to get. Then you come over to this, which is not much farther away. I mean, look at, I mean, doesn't that look strange? Even the contour of this thing, I mean, it's got, it looks to be like a little, Something coming out of it. It almost looks like chain links. But... See what I'm talking about? How it looks like chain links coming out of it. It's got a hole on the bottom here. Let's see. Let me come out and come back in. See, that's why I use a handheld and I have to, I keep moving it, trying to keep the focus and the focus so you don't see all the lines on the screen. The uh, See what I mean about the hole on the bottom? How it looks like there's a chain coming out of it. Like this thing looks like some type of circular, uh, circular item. You know, it looks like a circular, and it just looks very strange with this hole. But it looks like there's a chain or some sort coming out of it. And you got these weird things. I mean, it really looks corroded. I mean, really corroded. Now, I see that as strange. You may say, hey, you know what? 
I don't believe you, Mark. That looks like a rock to me. And you know what? That's 100% fine by me. Now this thing here. It looks like there's a rock behind it. Now, I can't tell if this is masked by JPL and NASA or there is something back there. It just looks very weird because there is something behind it and it looks, see, it's not completely covering the rock, but part of it is. Then I come over to this thing. See how this looks like one eye here, another eye here, and some teeth? Just a very strange area. I mean, look at how some of these rocks, they're just, I don't know, it's just weird, I don't know. Sometimes I catch weird placements with rocks. Then you got this little setup here. Look at this little thing down here. I can't make heads or tails of what we're looking at there. But then there's like, see this weird thing here? It's not part of the rock. But you see how it, it just looks weird? Let me see how close I can get. That's going to be about it, and then we're going to lose focus in a second. See, now if I did this with... Uh, the, um, video, the, the video capture software, the compression and some of the stuff that's built into that software, hey, I'm just not going to be able to get you this effect. I'm sorry. You know, I know, actually most of my viewers don't even care. They're like, listen, just keep showing us this stuff. I don't care how shaky this shit gets. It looks like you're in an earthquake. That's fine. Just keep showing us where to find these anomalies. And hey, listen, that's my job. There's like four or five, you know, four or five of us guys doing this stuff now. And, uh, you know, we got this really cool guy from Mars Unmasked. Um, you know, Will from What's Up in the Sky 37. You know, Chris, uh, Mars Anomalies. I mean, infamous with the uh, inverting. I mean, the man's a master at inverting these images. I mean, I don't know how some, I mean... The guy should be doing that for a living. I mean, the guy is just amazing what he does inverting these images. It's just sick. Just sick what the guy pulls out of these things. And I'm sure I sent them a couple of things, but I'm sure this guy's so backed up with request, they're uh, they're actually piled up out of his uh, out of his computer tower. I mean, they're. Uh, I mean, he's probably got so many mail requests to do these things. But uh, you know, and then you got Olympus Sky. You know, I mean, these guys are burning the midnight hour sometimes, you know, tearing this stuff apart, just like I am. And, uh, you know, what's the great thing is, is Will from What's Up at the Sky came up with this great idea. We're all going to start posting stuff up on his website, what's up in the sky com, And, uh, you know, there we kind of have almost our own rules. We don't have to uh, abide by, you know, YouTube's rules. So, I, you know... We know our stuff's always going to be there. That's the great thing. I've had a couple things disappear, and uh, I had something happen to me the other day which kind of aggravated me. A six-minute moon video, and uh, one minute was posted. You know, the whole thing uploaded. I watched it. Um, I watched it like two or three times, and then all of a sudden there was like a minute something. You can go watch it. I still left it up there. It's like a minute something of this moon video, and then I redid it. And, uh, however that happened, uh, I'm daring you to do it again. So, because now I got it out there. So, let's see if, uh, you know, whoever's going to make it disappear. Whoever, whatever, I don't care. But it's up there again. It's out there for the people to see, and that's all that matters. Now we're going to come back to this strange object. Now, see how this comes up? And it looks like there's bars or a grate in it. Now, I'm going to try to come in as close as I can. Now, let's see. Let me come out. There's me going in. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how I'm going to do this. i got, I got to show this to you guys because it's just crazy. I can get it to focus on that dot. 
see what I mean? It looks like there's grates going up and down in it. And it comes up to like a steeple. Then comes down. It looks to be like there's something in front of it. But that's the main item of interest back here. It looks like there's some type of grate in it. Could be a rock. Could really be a rock. To me, I doubt it. But to you, you might see a rock. Now, there's some strange stuff on this hill. I'm missing a lot of it. That's for sure. That I can guarantee you. This thing looked to be like some type of statue. Maybe it's knocked over now. It's got some weird squiggly stuff down on the bottom here. I mean, this, this picture, I mean, there's just a lot. I mean, this stuff doesn't look like rock. I mean, you see how this is carved? You see this one back here? But do you see what I mean? That they're twisting part of these pictures. You know, like when you got a picture that's perfect, uh, like 1280 by 1280, Go in and edit it and then pick like 1280 by like, uh, you know, like, uh, 900. And sometimes it just throws the picture off. I mean, it just twists it a little bit. I'm no expert on what you would call that. There's a name for it, I'm sure. But do I know the name for it? No. Let's see, there was something else back here before I sign off. This little weird area. To me, that looked like a little something, something. I don't know. I give the picture one, one quick scan. As usual, you guys pick out a lot of crazy stuff. Let me know what you see. And guys, I read every comment, every email. I get the stuff you're picking out. It's just insane. Look at this. How. In this picture, they put a number on this thing here. Now, there's some numbers on some items in this picture. I'm not going to show you all of them. I'm going to leave it up to you to go grab a couple, you know, grab, download it. I need you guys to really get interested in this stuff and get out there and download this. See how NASA blur how it's cut off here? This is where NASA blurred to see how boxy it is. They cut this off, whatever. See how they cut it, just chopped it right off here and here. There was something here. Now this is just a straight black and white picture. This is the way it came. Um, there was a gentleman that gave me... Uh, The other day, he was telling me about the. Uh, what the hell? Ah, see, now, now I forgot it. Uh, it's some video on uh, on the moon. I gotta go. Uh, I wanna. I'm gonna download it and check it out. Look at this stuff. I mean, you see how strange that looks from here. See the post coming up here, here. This is what I was talking about. Have you seen Celestial by Jose Ishmael? He left that, and uh, no, I've seen some. I've seen some of his stuff, but if uh, because this is the video. I did on uh, the Mars anomaly, the Moon anomalies. Uh, you got to check it out. It's just, it's really cool. And uh, this I got to watch, and it's just great. Oh man, just, just beautiful. <laughs> really is. Uh, go over to some of this, like the anatomy, the circles. This guy here, look to wake up. 
he's just really, really one of my great uh, viewers. I mean, look at just all plus, plus. I mean, just great comments. Uh, you know, they're. Uh, Thank you guys for all the positive. I mean, just let's keep it positive. You know, if this is not for you, it's fine. You know, guys. There's my other boy, Rick. This guy's been good. This guy's been good. He's given me uh, a lot of great discussions with him. You know, I mean, just there's my other boy. Look at him. Yeah, that's the man, Chris. Amazing words. Let's keep the pressure up, all right? That's my boy over at Mars Anomalies. Let's get excited, guys. Come on, you got to check these guys out. You know, but uh, like I said, man, we just... I, I, thanks a million to my viewers. Thanks a million. Then we're going to come to the back area of this picture where... I don't know, it could be nothing. It just looked a little strange. This back here seemed to seemed to look like it had some work done to it. I mean, you see how this comes here and it's blurred. Comes down. Looks to be like there was something here, but they did some, you know, blurring and work to it. Like this, it almost looked like there was something here. See how this looks circular? And they just hopefully our boy Chris over at Mars Anomaly. I'm going to send him a copy of this picture. I mean a link, and uh, hopefully he'll invert and do his magic. Is there something? There's something in this picture. Somebody. Uh, emailed me this uh, and said that I had to check this picture out. And this person gave me a heads up on another picture and uh, that I, I, all I could say is I just did it recently and uh, I gave out a little more information than I was supposed to. But I'm just going to leave it as this person just emailed me and told me that this is the picture that I have to check out. And uh, we'll just leave it at that. I already, you know, to me there's one amazing thing in there, those ropes. If I'm missing something, maybe you guys can... Uh, Help me out. Doesn't this look strange? How uh, this just comes right around. Now I don't know. That could have been the water line at one time. Is that where NASA's blurring uh, starts? I mean, it just looks very strange back here. See some of this stuff, like the circular object. See how it's white here, like a platform. You know, the giant circle. It almost looks like bushes and trees coming up. Then you get back here. I mean, look at the look at the separation between these. I'm gonna try to do the best I can, but see how this comes up? It almost looks like maybe a sphinx or something. I mean, I'm, I'm just telling. You, I'm just coming out of my head with just whatever comes to me first. You may say, hey, you know what? That's rocks. Hey, buddy, I'm happy. If these were just rocks, my life would be a lot simpler. Just won't we'll leave it at that. There looks to be like some type of passage through these mountains up here. But see, Chris from Mars Anomaly, he finds a lot of stuff up back here. I mean, he's cars, and I've seen these cars, but I just can't get them to come out properly and show them to you guys. So that's where I mean, like, hey, you know what? 
there's about five or six of us that are really hitting this stuff hard and we each have our own style and that's what I love most about it because each of us is able to get a different part out there look at this a NASA blurred some of it you see how it comes out how it's circular here comes to a point and then goes back down they blurred the hell out of what's on here you can't even tell me that that's a rock that's how bad this thing is blurred you see how this is just I'm gonna go in close guys I'm just warning you see how they blurred the hell out of it you can't even tell me that that's a rock look at this looks like a hexagon thing in here right. this thing almost looks like a camper sitting here you know like when you put the window uh, the window shades up look at it almost I mean of course that's not what it is but you see the shadow of like the window shade like if you put the window shade up you see the shadow underneath it there's another one there's would be the window of course that's probably not what it is but that's what we're gonna have to say it is for now but I want to make sure I go over this pretty good with you so if somebody sees something look at this platform Look at how it comes down here. The other thing I was told when I was checking this out uh, to look at this, the scale that I'm looking at and what my mind is trying to tell me is wrong. It's much bigger. That's what I was told about this picture. And I've kind of been getting that sense with the, my other pictures in the videos that somehow these pictures are part satellite, part rover. Look at this, almost looks like a sphere. Something you see like at Epcot Center. See, I can believe some of these pictures are part satellite, but maybe even whole satellite, who knows? Drone, satellite, look at this. You can't even tell me that that's a rock anymore when they got done with it. And you come over here, look at this. They put a number four, right? You see how this is blurred? How all this stuff disappears. And there's something behind that number four, and this is all blurred in front of it. All blurred. Then you have this strange object right here. Look at it. See that how it looks like a man just walking and he's coming up to something it just doesn't look like it fits in the area like this looks like an antenna coming up and then you see this this is something that NASA blurred this is what I mean it, they make it just disappear magic see how it comes up I know guys I know a lot of you are not gonna see this but and I can't stress this enough I need you guys to make sure you're watching my videos in high definition first of all on the YouTube browser make sure you're picking high definition number two I would prefer most of you not to use a phone or tablet to watch my videos if you have to that's great but don't be ju judgmental on just what you see on that and number two if you can get it on a 22 inch or bigger TV blast this stuff on your TV sit back grab a coffee you know if you got to go buy wires or whatever just get what you need and get this stuff running on your TV like when I blast it on my 65 inch high definition uh, I'm just speechless sometimes number one of the stuff I miss number two of uh, just how beautiful some of the stuff is I'll get this how they just totally blurred that out totally they didn't even want to hide it they just blurred it. See how they cut? See how they cut this off? To me, this looks like some type of statue. See how they just cut this off? This is what I'm trying to tell people. Most of you have got it by now. I know most of you have got it because the emails are in, uh, just unbelievable. 
and the response. See how this thing is raised up? But the person that sent me the link to this is telling me that the scale, what my mind is telling me, is that we're being fooled. Now what I think this person's talking about is when you come past this, this is where the picture is chopped in and we start getting into drone or satellite imagery. You see how this looks like almost like a city back here? Well, now you start to get into like buildings and so look at this how it looks maybe like a bridge. See how you got trussing underneath it? Here's some type of weird thing and then you come look at this. Look at the platform it's on. And then you got another platform here. You can see it almost looks like a stage, like a sound stage or something. See how it's raised up and then you see the shadow underneath it? Don't worry about this stuff in the foreground because this one, I think is just the stuff that's chopped in. But like look at this statue. I'm gonna see how close I can get freeze. You see how this stuff is how ornate. See this piece on the top comes out. Then you come down here past this ridge. Look at this weird stuff. Let me just, this is where I believe it's chopped in the other part of the picture. Now look at this. See it's on a platform. You see the shadow underneath it. Look at this strange item. Just center your eyes on that. Don't worry about anything else you see. Just look at this. You know the size that must be. See this? This could be maybe like a roadway or something coming across here. This could be river in here. They blur it out. See how you're coming through. This could be a, maybe a bridge or a tunnel where the water goes through. I mean, you got to use a little bit of your imagination. And that's fine. But you can't tell me that you look at look at this picture and say, oh yeah. See, look at this. They this they blurred out. But look at this. I'm gonna leave you with that. And I'm gonna leave you with where is it? Let me see. This is it. This is the last thing I wanted to show you. Look at these carvings back here. See how it, it just comes out. And they each got the same. It looks like, you know, some type of uh, maybe carving of a person or something in the middle. But you see how it's all flared out. Let's see how close we can get. That's going to be about the best we're going to get that, I think. Let me try one more thing. I think that's about it. Alright guys, I got a couple more coming down the pipe. Sit tight. Again, thanks every thanks to all my subscribers. Guys, two seekers out.